I'm uh, Mark Blinn, President and CEO of FlowServe Corporation. We're a uh, multinational industrial products company based uh, in Irving, but within the Dallas community. The FlowServe Corporation was formed in 1997 as a merger of equals, and that's when that formal name came out. But as you look behind that corporation, there's brands, Simpson Thatcher dating back to, I believe it's 1790, Byron Jackson, a company created in the mid 1800s. Um, so heritage brands going back over time around flow control. If you think about what we do, pumps, valves, and seals, this is around flow control, which is basic to many, many processes from water movement to in, in the energy industry and the power industry. So the, the thumbnail is we've been around for a long time. We're around in many applications that you see impacting everybody's day-to-day -day lives. Um, but, you know, people often don't understand that that attaches to FlowSurf. I think more and more as you look at the emergence of economies around the world, one of the primary factors that you're seeing is that you belong and become a part of the community in which you operate. And what that means is that you serve those markets, you employ in those markets, you support the community in those markets. That's becoming increasingly important. For example, if you look at what's occurring in Brazil, we talk a lot about the BRIC countries and, and the significance of Brazil. And there's great opportunity in Brazil. With the World Cup and the Olympics, there's a tremendous amount of construction. And if you follow Brazil over the last 15 to 20 years, you've seen an economy and a government that's gone from confusion, it wasn't investment grade, now it's emerging as a powerhouse. Well, if you think about how you address that community, how you address that economy there, historically, companies may have said, look, I'm going to ship into Brazil. I'm going to offer my products into Brazil. And you can do that. But more and more what you're seeing is Brazil wants you to employ their locals. They want local manufacturing. They want a presence. And so I think that's critical as you look at multinational companies right now and recognizing that you'll have a diverse employee base, they always have, but what that employee base means in terms of your interaction with the communities and your business opportunities. And from a management standpoint, when you take a step back, it's kind of humbling if you think about, we have 15,000 employees, most of them are international, most of our customers are international, and so you have to have the perspective operating out of Irving of what's going on around the world. And, and you know, the nice thing about a Dallas community is it's, it's not insular. You know, we have international flavor. And so I think the, the critical aspect of that is respecting the areas that you operate in, understanding that, and that's how you manage it. If you try to manage it solely from a U.S.-centric point of view, you'll miss a lot of opportunity.